Hi there, and welcome to today's video, which is about uh, being able to factorize an algebraic expression. <clears throat> uh, at times in this video, uh, you will need to pause it to have a go at some of the questions and to copy down the examples. So let's start off then. Okay, a, a quick starter for you. All right, so uh, pause the video and have a go at these questions. And when you're ready, uh, press play to check them. Okay, so press pause now, please. Okay, welcome back then. All right, so uh, a reminder then to expand a bracket. You multiply a bracket by what's in front of the bracket. So every term in the bracket on this first one needs to be multiplied by three. So three times W giving me three W, three times five giving me 15. So again, a second bracket here, we multiply through every term inside by four. So we should get eight B take away 12 C. A reminder on uh, part C here that sometimes we have a letter outside the brackets. So if we times X by another X, it gets us X squared. And if we times X by four, it gives us four X. Okay, and finally this one, if I times A squared by A, then becomes A cubed. And if I times three by A, I get three A. Okay, and this final one here, you're being required to find the um, the values outside the brackets and the two values inside. So outside the bracket, hopefully you put five, okay? Because five goes into 10 and five goes into 15. And in the brackets here, hopefully you put two X because five times two X gives me 10 X and three in, in the second part here because five times three gives me 15. And what we've done there is something called factorizing. And that is really what I want us to focus on in this lesson today, how to factorize these algebraic expressions, okay? So first of all then, uh, the word factorizing or factorize means that you're looking to put an expression you're given back into brackets, okay? It's actually the opposite of expanding a bracket out, okay? And one of the things you need to look for is the highest common factor of each term so that you get the right value outside of the bracket. Okay, so here's some examples. Okay, uh, make sure that you pause the video to write down the example. So first one here, I'm gonna factorize the expression 5x plus 15. So I need to look for something that will go into five and something that will go into 15 without a remainder. Um, only one term contains a letter, that's this first term here, 5x, the 15 doesn't contain any letters. So I know there's not going to be a letter outside the bracket. So what goes into 15 and 5 without uh, a remainder? Well, there's two numbers that go into 15 and 5. One goes into both, and 5 is the other number that goes into both. Now, if I put a 1 outside the bracket, look, look what happens inside the bracket. Look, 1 times 5x gives me 5x. And 1 times 15 gives me 15. So what you've got inside the bracket is actually the expression you've started with. So you haven't really done much there. Okay, so we would never, ever put 1 outside the bracket for that reason. So we're going to choose 5 as our common factor. Okay, it's the highest number that goes into 5x and 15. And then we complete what goes in the bracket. So 5 times what gives me 5x? In this case, 5 times x. And 5 times what gives me 15? 5 times 3 gives me 15, and now I've factorized that expression. Okay, so remember, never put a 1 outside bracket. It doesn't change anything. Okay, number 2 then, we've got the expression 3t take away 12. Now, what will go into 3, and what will go into 12? Well, the answer to that is 3. Okay, so that's what goes outside your brackets. Now, inside then, what do you times 3 by to make 3t? Well, 3 times t gives me 3t. And what do you times 3 by to give me 12? I would times that by 4. So 3t take away 12 factorizes to 3, and in the brackets, t take away 4. Okay. And this is where we need to consider on uh, question 3, okay, the highest common factor. Because I know 1 will go into 8 and 20, but I want to exclude that. But also, 2 goes into 8 and 20, and 4 also goes into 8 and 20. Now, I want to pick the highest common factor so that it's fully factorized. So I'm going to choose 4 to go outside the bracket. 
Okay. So what do I multiply 4 by to make 8p? I multiply it by 2p. And what do I multiply 4 by to get 20? 4 times 5. So that factorizes to 4 and in the brackets 2p plus 5. And the final example here, uh, we can't see a number here in front of the y squared. And that's because we wouldn't write 1y squared. All right, so the highest common factor of 1 and 4, 1. And we've said before, we never put a 1 outside the bracket. But on this question here, I can see that there is a letter y in both terms. Okay, y squared means y times y. And 4y means 4 times y. OK, so I'm going to take the y this time out as a common factor. So what do I times y by to make y squared? Well, we can see uh, y times y. And what do I times y by to make 4y? Well, we can see here it's 4 times y. So I need to write 4 in there. And then that's fully factorized there as well. OK, now pause the video and make a note of those examples. And when you're ready, press play to have a go at the main task. OK, here is the main task then. So give yourself a set time of about 15 minutes to have a go at this main task. OK, and as soon as you have finished the main task, press play on the video and check over your solution. So pause the video now to have a go at your main task, please. OK, welcome back then. OK, so here are the solutions to the main task. All right, so uh, just just. Uh, press pause on that a moment and uh, mark your work, okay, or correct your work, okay? Right then, uh, checking question, okay? So here I have written an algebraic expression. I want you first of all to simplify this uh, expression, and then I want you to factorize the result of it, okay? So pause the video and have a go, and when you're ready, press play. OK, welcome back then. So when we simplify expressions, we collect together like terms. So if I just, I'll start off with this red pen. OK, so I'm going to start with the x term. So I've got 4x here. And if I look over here, I've got another 4x. But I need to make sure the sign in front of the, the 4x belongs to the 4x. So really now here, I'm doing 4x add 4x. Now 4x add 4x gives me 8x. Okay, so I've now collected together the terms containing x. So I'm going to change the color of the pen and I'm going to come to this term here which says it's positive 9y and here the, ter the sign in front of this y belongs to it so it's saying to take y away. Okay, so if you picture a number line, okay, put naught there, put nine there. So there's my positive nine y here. And then I'm going to take away a y. I'm going to come back one space. It's going to be there at eight. That's positive eight. So all together there, I've got eight y. So I'm going to write plus eight y. So now I collected the x terms together and the y terms together. And finally, we've got terms that don't contain any letters. So there are our integer or whole number values. So here you can see I've got plus 15. And I'm going to take away 3 from that because the minus belongs to the 3. So again, if I draw myself a number line and put naught there, and I say, right, well, 15 is here. OK, so there's my positive 15 on my number line. And now I'm going to take 3 away. OK, so imagine jumping back now three places. It's going to take me to 12. That's still in the positive numbers. So that's going to give me plus 12. Now, I've been asked now to, to factorize this. OK, so can we see a common factor in this expression that we can take out? OK, hopefully you see that 4 goes into 8, 8 and 12. OK, now we need to fill in what's in the brackets. So 4 times what gives me 8x? Well, that's 2x. 4 times what gives me 8y, so that's 2y. And 4 times what gives me this 12, 4 times 3. So once I've simplified this expression and factorized it, it gives me this as a result. Okay, well done if you got all of that correct. 
Okay, thank you for listening to the video and stay safe.